put your hands together if you know that trouble doesn't last always. Come on, God deserves a praise better than that. I know it's hot on the outside and even on the inside, but God is worthy to be praised. God bless you this morning and welcome to Miracle Temple Evangelistic Church of God in Christ. We've been through a lot of transitions and we're here at this point today and for that we are grateful. At this time, we're going to ask that evangelist Patricia Preston Luckett will come and do our invocation. Following her will be our scripture reading from Mother Emma Jones and the statement of faith from Sister Michelle Taplin. I'm going to ask that you will stand for all three of those, if you will, please. The invocation, scripture reading, and statement of faith in that order. again on today. God, we come telling you, thank you, God, for allowing us to come together one more time. God, we come telling you, thank you, God, for allowing us to see this day on today, God. A special day, God, if you have blessed us to be here on this day, God. We thank you for our pastor and our Bishop Desiree Preston, God, and First Lady Preston, God. I thank you, God, for all the poor pit guests, God, and everyone that's here, God. God, we ask you to come into this place on today, God. Have your way in this house on today, God. Move like never before, God. Holy Ghost, have your way, God. You are the special guest on today. Move in this house, God. Lift up the bow down hands, God. Set the captain free on today, God. You know what we in need of on today, God. Strengthen us on today, God. And God, we give you the glory. And we give you the honor. And we take it. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
devil is in our sight. Today is a special church dedication service. We are grateful to God for it is him who made it possible for us to rebuild this church so that we can fellowship together. Under the leadership of designated Pastor Preston, District Missionary Preston, the MTEC congregation was able to transition back to our current location, 418 Lakeshore Road, to a state of art, uniquely designed, multi-church level facility. We praise God for blessing us step by step. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. October the 2nd, 2018, this building was grounded by a consumer fire. As a result, the church transitioned to a, loca to a new location at 233 McClure Road until a until the building was fully completed. Many thanks to Pastor Scott for allowing us to use this facility. We, the MTEC Church family, extend a warmest appreciation for your presence and your support. May God continue to bless each of you. tell the saints the church has already been dedicated but this is the official dedicated it's been dedicated through lots of prayer lots of praise and worship and messages and teaching because we have been in service here over one year we just were not able to do the dedication last year but we thank God for even though the pandemic is still going on now we are happy that you took the time and you felt comfortable to come and worship with us today. <clears throat> At this point, we have jurisdictional remarks, and let me say that we are grateful for our presiding bishop, J. Drew Shears, and him working with my husband just from the conversations that maybe I hear a bit of. He is so down to earth, such an humble person, and they seem to have such a great working relationship together. Now, we know that he cannot be with us, but because he is our interim jurisdictional bishop, we wanted to acknowledge him in our program today. And also for our saintly, as they say, saintly mother, Mary Ella Eaton, we thank God for her and we honor her and respect her. On many conversations, she and I would talk about the requirement of leaders to be at certain places where they're expected to be. But she has a little statement and she says it like this, daughter, I would tell, we would be talking, she said, you can't go to every hospital. So basically she was telling me that we can't always be where we want to be. And of course she cannot be with us today, but we acknowledge her, we love her, and we will continue to lift her up in prayer. So I know that there are many of you here that have come from far, and some of you have been, just as we have, have been in multiple services today. But we want to, once again, thank you for coming and being with us. At this time, um, Let everyone say praise the Lord today. We are certainly thankful and glad for Jesus and the Holy Ghost and all that he's done for us. Let us put our hands together for him right now. And we praise and magnify him. We thank God for you that are here. And of course, as everyone knows, that we believe in time. We don't want to keep you long. Amen. But we want to be strong. We praise God. I see Ella, come on up right here. Yes, praise God. He came in this morning. And I left your name. I think Ella Floyd, give him a hand. We praise God for him here. And certainly thank God that our speaker is here. And we praise him for that. Uh, just for a moment, this is a, a, a spare of the moment thing. Uh, but Ella, Anthony Smith is going to come have a word or two. We know that we got Pastor Scott in this section, but we were moving on after words from this is the chairman of our pastors and elders. Let's give him a big God a round of applause. Showing some Jackson love, y'all. Come on, praise the Lord. Amen.
Come on, let's bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord with all my soul and with all that within me. Bless his holy name. Come on and bless the Lord. He is greatly to be praised. I magnify him and I glorify him for the thing that he had done for me today. We thank God for such a man that the Lord had placed in this building, designated Bishop Preston, my friend. Praise God, we've been knowing one another for a long time. God been good to us, and I told him this morning, Sister Preston, I said, I love you because I left my church and we drove on up here. We love you. And we want you to know we love you. We thank God for the speaker this evening, Dr. Kelly. Been knowing him a long time. <laughs> knowing him a long time. Knowing him a long time. And God has just been good to us. Thank God for Superintendent Allen that is with us. We thank God for the bishop here. And thank God for my driver and my associate pastor, Ella Jasper Jasper, drove me here today. So I'm glad to be here with you all. I saw the invitation, Sister Darth, on the on my uh, computer, and it told me that I had to get a ticket. So I got the ticket out of there, amen? So I'm here with you all today, letting you know that we love you, although we know we are uh, in kind of a agreement, agreement, but God's been good to us. But God's been good to us, and we love the Lord. And you all, we're going to pray for the Preston family, and we're going to pray for this great congregation here that is the Lord has blessed him with. And we're certainly going to pray for him. Amen. For being our newly appointed bishop that's coming in. He's going to need our prayer, so we're going to pray for him and lift him up for the Lord because when you get in position some people say they on your side they ain't on your side y'all hear me amen so we gonna need he gonna need our prayer so we gonna lift him up I'm gonna lift him up and may God bless you and may God keep you and may God smile upon you and another thing may God prosper this congregation. God bless you. Come on, can we give him another hand? We praise God. I send to do that in representation of our jurisdiction. We praise God for every pastor and the elder superintendent here. We're going to ask all of the pastors, elders, uh, some of you are in the audience, ministers, stand on your feet at this time. We praise God for each of them. We have a, I can't get everybody, but Simpson Allen, Bishop Sanders, all of our pastors, all of you all, all of the pastors. Let, come on, we can do better than that. We at MTEC, amen. These are our pastors, elders, and our coming pastors and elders, amen. God bless you. God bless you. That's hallelujah. to the congregation. So if I at this time, where is your birthday ever? Stand on your feet.
Hallelujah. It's been a long time coming. Now you see, not only Jackson love you, but this is a part of Mississippi Second Southern Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction of Southern Mississippi. Standing with our superintendent and missionary Evers, we want you to know he was your first choice even before I became the bishop. <laughs> she was your first choice. And you and I worked together so much as chairmans, and you was my first choice before I even got here. And God have allowed us to come. And at this time, I appoint Missionary Bertha Evers, the newly appointed District Missionary of the Jackson District, Southern Mississippi, number two. God bless you. Go on and give it to her. That's all right. Ah! Super in the and they trying to make us act up up in here now. Brother Ken, I believe said, every time I turn around, the Lord keep on blessing me. Woo! Bless you. We're about to have a day. God bless you. God bless you. Now I'm not. I don't. I'm not going to ask her to come up and have words. This is. This is why God delayed that. He wanted it done at this point in time, and we're grateful that I'm not going to ask her to come have words today unless she just really want to. She preferred not to, and I totally understand. But I'm going to ask that our district missionary, all superintendents' wives, we're on the front, we have Superintendent Allen's wife, Missionary Allen's, and Dr. Kelly's wife's, uh, Missionary Kelly. I'm going to ask you to stand along with our district missionary. And we also have elders' wives, pastors' wives, uh, elders' wives, ministers' wives, all of you. I, I see some that are not even standing, but we thank God for each of you. <laughs> being with us today. God bless you. You may have your seats. What a wonderful day and appropriate time and the right person to do it. We thank God for that. At this time, we're moving forward. We do not want to keep you home here long. We are going to have a praise rendition from the MTech musicians and the praise team. They will be followed by a special tribute in the form of a video presentation. And at that time, we're gonna ask that you would direct your, uh, one screen is not on, but we're gonna ask that you will de direct your attention to the screen at that time. And they will also be followed by Brother Tony Berry with a special presentation. They're gonna come in that order. Let's say man for the praise team.
All right, well, let's give him a, a pause for effort, amen. Uh, had a video presentation, something happened. So at this time, we will go move into the church dedication. At this time, Dr. Mobi, Toby Momai, associate minister here, is coming with our prayer of dedication. Say amen as he's coming. Hallelujah. God is good. In 2 Chronicles chapter 6, when Solomon dedicated the temple, he sang a song. He said, for the Lord is good and his mercy endures forever. We're just going to sing that chorus with my wife, Rita. Join us if you can, if you don't mind standing on your feet, and then I'll take us into a time of prayer through by the Spirit of God. For the Lord is good. your mercy endures forever as we anoint miracle temple evangelistic church 1418 lakeshore road we dedicate this building unto you O lord in the name of the father in the name of the son in the name of the holy ghost we dedicate this building to be a place of refuge to be a place of healing to be a place of deliverance, to be a place of the manifestation of the glory of God, to be a place of a turnaround breakthrough, to be a place of a chain, to be a place of turnaround in the lives and lives of people who come in here. Lord, as we anoint the door on the north side, as we anoint the door on the south side, we say no man who steps in here will leave the same way they came. No woman who steps in here will leave the same way they came. No boy, no girl will step in here and leave the same way they came. We command deliverance upon Mount Zion in the name of Jesus. 
Holy Ghost, we invite you to be the chief shepherd over this place. Holy Ghost, we invite you to direct the proceedings in this place. Holy Ghost, we ask you to inspire, to quicken, to glorify the name of Jesus in this place. Holy Ghost, we ask that let no flesh glory in your presence in this place. As we gather, Lord, let our gathering be unto you. Let your, the head of your chief shepherd, Bishop Designate Preston and Lady Missionary Preston, let their head never lack oil. Let their head never lack oil. Let their garments always be white. Let the words from this altar bring a fresh revelation of the name of Jesus to your people. And at the end of the day, Lord, they shall be those who the Lord shall say of Miracle Temple, you have run your race. You have finished your course. You have finished this race. And now is laid up a crown for those of us who have finished. We dedicate this building unto you, Father God. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Have your way here tonight. Be glorified in this place, O oh God. Your will be done, Lord. Your kingdom come, Lord. Angels, have your way today. Restore, revive, heal, deliver, save, change, make whole in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Deacon Kama. Thank you. We praise God for it. We accept these keys under the action of the Spirit of the Lord and how he's blessed us to come and to build in my house and to dedicate it back to him. We are certainly thankful for that as well as the prayer of dedication. We're going to ask you to bow your head with us together. And we will say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debt as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Abides the kingdom, power, and the glory forever. Amen and amen. Come on and give God the praise. Hallelujah. Give him the praise. And we thank him. God bless you. You might as well remain standing. We're calling for the offertory as official. Praise the Lord. As we said, we didn't want to keep you in too long, and we are almost ready for the word of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And, uh, at this time, praise God, we're going to ask was Sister Michelle, if you want to cash out your offering, she's going to sing it out to you real quick. Be Dollar sign, MTEC1988. That's if you so desire to cash out. But Otherwise, in front of you should be in the back of one of the chairs a, an offering envelope. And if it's not, raise your hand, and one of the ushers will be more than happy to bring one to you as we get ready to be a blessing back to the house that God has given us. Praise the Lord. So when you get that offering envelope in your hand, we'd like for you to stand on your feet. We don't want anybody to 
walk over anybody or step on your feet, and then you say you got mad at MTech because somebody stepped at your feet, but you didn't tell the whole story that you didn't get up and walk. Amen. So as we're standing all over the house, Thank God for our speaker and our superintendent. Praise the Lord. Our superintendent is giving 100. Praise the Lord. And 100 for St. Hill and 100 for St. Paul. God bless you. Thank you, superintendent. Any other pastors or elders want to uh, bring a check to my cash? Ella David Simmons is in the house. God bless him. They made the way. Praise God. Superintendent Henderson is here. God bless you, my friend. All right. Superintendent Henderson is given 100. No march yet. Ella Page sent 50. He couldn't be here. God bless. Eden Temple offering. God bless you. Pastor David Simmons, $100. While you're getting your offering, well, I see you took the liberty to sit down anyway, and God bless you because you got to go through this real quick. We want to acknowledge uh, offerings that were sent in. Missionary Ali Brent, 25 Superintendent Larry Burney, $100. Minister Willie Preston, $170. Uh, District Missionary Linda Hughes, $100. District Missionary Janie Evans, $50. Administrative Assistant Superintendent Ruben McSwain, $500. Elder Amos McSwain, $200. Uh, brother and Sister Jerry and Dorothy Crawford, $150, praise God. Uh, and Sister Ernestus Moffitt, my goddaughter, $50. Again, Ella Simmons, $100 here. And Ella Henderson, $100. And uh, Ella Page, $50. And this is Superintendent Glenn Allen, $200. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Daniel, this page 50, okay. Lord <laughs> they got Chairman Smith $100. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Listen, y'all, we better continue to pray and pray hard because we got, almost got hell right here on earth. Do you know that the heat index is over 109 right now, on, right here. And I saw some earlier in Arizona where red lights are melting and the shoes are melting on people's feet. This is actually going on now, praise God. Anyone else? Okay, we're gonna ask that you would stand at this time, praise God. And uh, Superintendent Allen is gonna come back and pray God's blessing. Oh, the offering. I thought I saw my godson. Yeah, boy, come on in here. Bring me some money, then I'm so I can talk. <laughs> oh, you want me? To, oh, well, yeah. He's reminding us that if you got your debit card or your uh, 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 Visa, Mastercard, we can take that too. We'll swipe it. We'll step to the side and and swipe that too. Thank God for new missionary Henderson in the house. Give her a hand. God bless you, darling. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right, let me get my glasses on. Thank God for Ella James Gilmore, $30. And he came in this morning and, praise God, used to drive for Bishop W.W. W. Hamilton, Superintendent Kelly out of California, used to be our general secretary. And we thank God for him. And that's all for this service to us. And we praise God for that. Now, like I first stated, if anyone do want to use your card, it won't be no problem. I'll step over here to the side, and uh, we'll swipe the card and tell us what you uh, want to do. Amen. And so at this time, Superintendent Allen is coming. Say amen. May we bless.
bow our heads, please. Father, in the name of Jesus, again, we come to you with the spirit of thanksgiving, thanking you for this day, thanking you for this occasion, thanking you for those who have labored for this day. And Father, as we plant seeds into this fertile ground, we ask that you would give us the spiritual rain so that our seeds may grow and turn into our harvest. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. At this time, everyone stand. You, Mother Barbara, the usher on this side will direct you. Watch our ushers. It's a special way we hold the music of the Lord that we'd like for you to march. Uh, watch their direction and you will be standing you are to my left your right to turn to your left and you will follow out that way and come around and bring your offerings all right okay. God bless you. Thank you for the offering we praise God for. The, I promise you we're not holding back on the air. It's the heat index. I have it down on 65. It's just the heat index that's soaring all around. I'm talking about right here in Jackson. It's 109 heat index immediately right now and hotter than that in other areas. So uh, I'm going to get you out if you get hell up it'll be dr kelly so just start throwing your programs and at him and all that but we thank god today i am so elated and so proud of you coming to see about us stand up sister henderson this is elder linda henderson he's no longer available y'all <laughs> sister dorothy henderson and I was a part of their wedding. Give her a hand again and give him a hand. It was a long time, but he finally done it again. God bless you, missionary. We praise God for you. Amen. We're going to ask, um, I think the um, St. Paul Choir praise team is getting ready in, I don't know how, sir. St. Paul St. Hilda, amen. Praise God. They're getting ready to come. 
And we're going to probably ask some of my elders. I think they're going to come up. Amen. If y'all just move around and find seats, you know, anywhere. We at home. Amen. We just, like Ella Smith said, we just home, boy. We at home. Amen. God and Lord. All right. So we thank God for that as they're making ready to position themselves to be a part of this great service. Praise the Lord. Today, we thank God for this uh, speaker for today. Amen. Personal friend of mine goes back now over 45 years. Praise the Lord. Dr. Jesse J. Kelly was born June 11, 1957, which means he just had a birthday. Him and Ella Simmons, day four yesterday, amen. To the late Mr. Leroy, Mrs. Christine Butler, Kelly in Prentice, Mississippi. Dr. Kelly is the eighth of 10 children, graduated from Wingfield High School and then matriculated through Jackson State University here in Jackson, earning a BS degree in mass communication a Master of Divinity and Pastoral Ministry from Wesley Biblical Seminary, Jackson, Mississippi, and a Doctor of Ministry degree from the Interdenominational Theological Center in Atlanta, Georgia. Dr. Kelly was called into the ministry at the age of 17 under Superintendent Marcus Butler. Bishop Theo Davis ordained him in November 9, 1982. And Dr. Kelly began his pastor on May 2nd, 1982, as the founder of St. Paul Church of God in Christ, where he currently serves approximately 200 active members. And under his leadership, Dr. Kelly has approximately 25 ministers and missionaries. In addition, he accepted on March 24th, 1997, and serves diligently as pastor of the historic St. Hill Church of God in Christ in Brandon, Mississippi, where expansions and renovations of facilities were completed in 2016. Dr. Kelly has served as district superintendent of the Jackson District, second ecclesiastical jurisdiction of the Churches of God in Christ in Southern Mississippi for the past 30 years, currently serving on our interim jurisdiction of prelate Bishop J. Drew Shirt. The Jackson District has seven churches, also, he is the Dean of the Charles Harrison Mason Jurisdictional Institute for Mississippi Southern Second and the original Dean for the State of Mississippi in Louisiana. He is the first African-American Director of Chaplaincy, Chaplaincy for the Central Mississippi Correctional Facility in Rankin County. Dr. Kelly in the St. Paul Church family has acquired land and property worth over $1 million, which is currently debt-free. Amen. Amen. Give it a hand. Praise the Lord. And his mantra is a Christ-centered holistic ministry reaching the city for Christ, which focuses on ministering to the whole man to make him complete, wanting nothing in Christ Jesus. Dr. Kelly is married to Mrs. Andrea Kelly. To this union was born two children, Adam and Deborah Kelly. He has six children and seven grandchildren. Has two sons who works with him diligently in the ministry, Elder David Kelly, Minister Music, and Brother Adam Kelly, a gifted and accomplished drummer. At this time, we are going to the St. Hill, St. Paul Church Praise Team and Choir. And after they shall have finished, the next voice you will be hearing is that of our speaker for the evening, Dr. Jesse James Kelly. And when they shall have finished, we ask that you will rise to your feet and let us receive our speaker for today. God bless you. Come on, let's put our hands together and bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah! The song just says, bless this house. And I want you to listen to the lyrics. It says, bless this house. Keep us strong and healthy. Keep us safe and prosperous. Cover this entire congregation 
from our children to our spouse. Come down from heaven, Lord, with your almighty power, Lord. Shower us to my empty with your favor, Lord, and bless this house. The second part we say is cover us. Don't you want to be covered on today? Don't we want Miracle Temple to be covered? We say covered us. And the last part, because when God covers you, the presence of the Lord is here. So he blesses you, he covers you, and then his presence is here. Bless this house.
presence of the Lord is here. And when the presence is here, no weapon form shall prosper. The presence you can burn it down. Of the Lord is here. But the presence will still be here. The presence. The presence of the Lord. Designate Preston, First Lady Preston, let's celebrate them. The scripture said the one that build a house have more honor than the house itself. So the Lord used Bishop Preston to build this house. Let's celebrate the builder of this house. Glory to God. And you can just walk around, you can tell that a lot of thought went into every detail. celebrate him and this marvelous accomplishment for this facility. I remember the night I, early in the morning I saw it on the news. I couldn't believe my eyes. I came up here that very morning and uh, reached out to him. Pastor Scott and I were here and um, I can truly say today he brought you from a mighty long Let's celebrate the chairman of the Board of Superintendents, Glenn Allen, chairman of the Elders Council, jurisdiction of the Financial Secretary, let's celebrate him, Elder Simmons. Let's celebrate our jurisdictional superintendent of Sunday School. Amen. And I hope I didn't overlook anyone else, thank God, I mean, one of our adjutants. other ministers who are in the house, all the men of God in the house, will you please stand? I want to celebrate. Thank God this bishop. God bless you. And celebrate all the men of God. Thank God for my lovely wife. Amen. Evangelist Andrea Kelly, over 20 years. And it just keep on getting better. All the women of God in the house who carry the word, will you stand? We want to honor you. All the women of God who carry the word.
thank God for our the district missionary, newly appointed district missionary, Brenda Edwards. I've worked with her for over 30 years, and um, I know Bertha. I call her Bertha. I know Bertha. Thank God. Awesome woman of God. We thank the Lord for her. Praise God. Thank the Lord for my son, David, my daughter, Shannon, my son, Adam, my daughter, Deborah. Amen. Thank the Lord for them. Amen. Bishop Jordan talked about um, leading and taking a walk. So in, in the Kojic tradition, everybody that came with me, Dr. Thomas, everybody came with me, stand up, came to support Elder Preston today. Praise God. All right. God bless you. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Elder Preston know we love him and we come to uh, support him. Um, let's see. Um, Elder Preston and I, we've been friends since 1974. And also, over the decades, we have coordinated and helped each other's ministry. Amen? We work together. He's helped me, and I've been of some help to him as well. But we work together, we fellowship together, and we've been a blessing to one another. Some of the biggest steps I made in the ministry, Kenneth was right there with me, helping me make it happen. And I appreciate him. Definitely appreciate him. Preston, I appreciate you um, in your new appointment. Um, I saw the movie about Judas and the Black Messiah. I saw that movie. Act like you didn't see that movie. I want you to know that I'm going to be loyal. I'm going to be. I'm going to be your right hand man. I'm going to be there for you. Amen. Let's celebrate him. Amen. I'm going to be loyal. I'm going to be faithful not going to try to circumvent processes. I'm not going to get in the room and talk against it. I'm not going to do that. Amen. And look, I ran for bishop, but that's over. I didn't win. So it's over. And I called almost every one of those men when we were, almost every one of them, I think, except one. I called them and I told them, I said, if you win, I'm going to support you. I called them. I met with some of them. I said, if you win, I'm going to support you. Amen? Amen. And that came from my heart. And I mean that from my heart. God bless you. Yes, sir. Now, let me go ahead and get to the word because um, this is something that the Lord wanted me to share today. And um, hopefully it won't take me long. Um, God's plan for his God's plans for his people. And I know that God's plan for his people is an integral part of the vision that's in Proverbs 29 and 18. For without a vision, without knowing what thus says the Lord, we will perish. And God's plan for his people is a plan to do good to them. To do good to them, according to Jeremiah 29 and 11, and not evil. And God's plans for his people is always a series. According to Isaiah 43, yes, 18 through 19, this facility we are in is a new beginning. So when you're serving God, some is always coming. Look at some and say, I got some coming. I got a blessing coming. And I know it must be the leading of the Lord because all these, all these dots connect. But what is God's plan? You say we'll, we will perish without a vision. You say that his plan is to do us good and not evil. You said 
that there's going to be new beginnings. <laughs> but uh, what does this thing look like? What does the plan look like? And you know what? I'm going to tell you the plan. Right. And you can take it or leave it. I hope you don't leave it. <laughs> this had to be in the 90s over at St. Paul on Booker Street. Because the Lord spoke to me and gave me this revelation. And he said, Jesse, this is what I want with your church. This is what I want with your church. This is what I want you to teach the people that you're leading to do. I never forgot it. I never forgot it. And if you go to Exodus 19, um, in the third month, after the children of Israel had gone out of Egypt and on that same day they came to the wilderness of Sinai but they had departed from Rephidim and had come to the wilderness of Sinai and camped in the wilderness so Israel camped there before the mountain and you know what nobody never told me this Three months after they left Egypt, he told them what he wanted with them. So, well, he delivered them so they could go to the promised land. That's what they said. That's what they have always said. They left Egypt and they went to the, on their way to the promised land, but they were delayed 40 years. And that's, <laughs> that's just about all they tell you. But nobody really told us what he wanted with them. Look at his neighbor and say, what did he want with you? <laughs> now, you told me what he had for them. Oh, God, I'm, boy, I'm preaching right now. Mm -hmm. You told me what he had for them, Cana, but you didn't tell me what he wanted with them. You marry a man and he tell you everything he going to give you and all that, you better find out what he want with you. <laughs> and find out what that man want with you. Amen. So he told him, he said, and Moses went up to God and the Lord called him into the mountain and he said, thus you shall say to the children, house of Jacob and the children of Israel, you see how I, what I did to the Egyptians and how I bore you on eagles' wings and I brought you out unto myself. You see how I delivered you? I delivered you. Do you see what I did for you? Do you see what I done to the Egyptians? Now, he's getting ready to tell them what he want with them. Now, therefore, if you will indeed obey my voice and keep my covenant, you shall be a special treasure unto me above all the people of the earth, for all the earth is mine. He's telling them what he want with them. And he said, and you shall be to me. This is for me. The promised land is for you. But this is for me. You're going to be to me. Oh God. A kingdom of priests. And a holy nation. These are the words which you shall speak unto the children of Israel. I don't care if you came from uh, 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 Columbia, I don't care if you came from Picayune, I don't care if you, if you came from the furthest parts of Mississippi, I don't care if you came from Brandon, uh, wherever you came from, if you're a pastor in here today, this is what God wants with all your members. This is what, this is the purpose, the reason the Lord told you to found your church. Because the Lord wants us as his people to do only two things. It 
don't take rocket science to figure it out. And this is a message today. Because this is the plan. He wants you to be a kingdom of priests. And a holy nation. I don't care how much Ella Sherry preach, he can't leave that subject. A holy nation. I don't care how many B3 organs you get, praise teams and mass choirs, you can't leave that subject because the Lord wants us to do two things. He wants us to show the world how to worship him. A kingdom of priests. He wants us to show the world how to worship him and then he wants us to reflect his character. Be ye holy. And everything else comes under that. Be ye holy. For I am holy. Be ye holy. For I am holy. Glory to God. We are a kingdom of priests, and we are a holy nation. Celebrate that in Jesus' name. <laughs> Praise the Lord, somebody. Yes, worship. And you know, uh, worship, what, what does worship mean? And when, when I took the course worship on my master's level, and uh, I thought I understood it pretty good, being Kojic, I thought I understood worship pretty good, but when I began to research worship, amen, I found out that the, the, the centerpiece of worship is when you celebrate the worth of God. How much is he worth? Can I get some help in this house? Glory to God. No wonder when Jesus told the Samaritan woman that he was the Messiah in plain language, that they had a conversation about worship. The Samaritan woman said, where should we worship God? Oh, now Gerizim here or in Jerusalem? We build our temple. Where, where should we worship God? That's a controversy. Glory to God. And Jesus said, ma'am, it's not about where you worship. It's about how you worship. Give God some praise. For God is a spirit. Give him some glory. And they that worship him must worship him. Spirit and in truth, it's not where you worship, it's not how big the building is, it's about the purity that comes from your heart. Look somebody in the face and say, How much is the Lord worth to you? One thing about it, when something is worth something to you, you act like it. When the Lord is worth something to you, don't nobody have to make you praise Him. When the Lord is worth something to you, Nobody have to make you open your mouth and give him some glory. When the Lord, when you know what he's worth to you. Glory to God. The three Hebrew men who were facing the fiery furnace, they said, you can go ahead and burn us up if you want to. But I want you to know that we can't bow down and worship no idol because the God we serve is able. The God we serve is greater than the furnace. And you mean I can save my life that when I hear the music, if I bow down and worship an idol God? Hallelujah. And they told uh, the king, they said, we can't bow down. Oh, king, live forever. Hallelujah, but we can't bow down because we got over here because of idolatry. The reason we're in Babylon is because of idolatry. That's what got us in this trouble. And you think I'm going to be in trouble and get in some more trouble while I'm in trouble? I want you to know that I can't bow down. The God that we serve is able and he shall deliver us. Give him some praise. Look at the neighbor and say, how much is he worth it? When you know how much the Lord is worth, nobody has to make you praise it. This ain't about politics. This is about praise. The last round 
encounter with Satan when Jesus was in the wilderness. The devil finally broke down and told him the truth. He said, this is not really about you eating bread. This is really a, not about you jumping off the temple. But what this is really about is I want the worship that you give to God. Satan never, never intended for anybody to go to hell. Hell was not his ideal. Hell didn't even come from the devil. The Lord made hell for the devil and his angels. But Satan never wanted to go to hell. What Satan wanted was the worship that we give to God. Give God some praise. And on that third round, he said, if, if I can get you to fall down and worship me, I'll give you all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. And Jesus says, Satan, you shall worship the Lord God and him only shall you serve. I can't worship you. come to church and you know what the Lord have done for you? You ain't looking around seeing who else gonna praise him. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Let the high praises of God be upon your mouth. And uh, a two-edged sword. and 15 it says by him therefore let us offer the sacrifices of praise to God continually that is with the fruit of our lips giving thanks to his name you didn't die he died for you his blood washed you the Holy Ghost filled you the Lord saved you and delivered you and the Lord said since you didn't do none of that I want you to offer him the sacrifice of praise with the fruit of your lips. Give him some glory. Lift your hands and say, he did it all. Get on your feet and say, he did it all. He did it all. But if I can get you to worship, I can get you through anything. Praise God. When they were being attacked in 2 Chronicles 20 and 20, they went in church and they had church. Glory to God, somebody. And if you study the scriptures real well, the revelation came from the Christ name. That word of revelation came out of the choir stand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When the Lord told them that you are outnumbered, you are outmanned, you are outpowered, and there is no way humanly possible you can win. But since you came in here and gave me the glory, I want you to know that the battle is not yours.
go out there on the edge of the wilderness. Hallelujah. And when you go into battle, don't put the armor in front of you. Don't put the army. Send Judah first. Give God some praise. Send Judah first. Give God some praise. Because you're not going to have to fight. Send Judah first. Glory to God. And I want you to know that when those uh, uh, Korahites, those were some of the professional praisers, when they went forth in praise, and when they sent Judah first and went on the battlefield and started praising God on the battlefield, and when they went into praise, the Lord answered them. Give him some glory. Lift your hands and worship. Say yes, Lord. Read. Read that passage slow. He didn't ambush their enemies until they went forth and prayed. I'm sorry, y'all. I can't be still. I'm just being me. I'm not trying to entertain none of y'all. I'm just being Jesse Kelly. And when they went forth in praise, the Lord went into battle and won the battle, ambushed their enemies, and won the battle. And they picked up spoils for three days. Not only are you not going to have to fight, but when you get there, the battle is going to be over. We are more than a conqueror through him that loved us. We're not a conqueror. We're something more than a conqueror. <laughs> Dr. Mona will up in here tell y'all we need to elevate. At this point, you need to elevate. Give God some praise. In the Jesse Kelly tradition, this is a series. So I'm going to give you the worship part today and I'm going to cut off. I can't, get, I can't give you the other part. It'll take too long. I'm just going to do this worship part. I'm going to call three or four more scriptures and I'm out of here. Now, I didn't give you part two. And if you can accept it, I'll let you go home. Can you accept that? All right. Worship. Worship. Kingdom of priests. And a holy nation. Martin Luther brought this topic up. The New Testament is replete with sacrificial language and technical terms to serve us as presenting our offerings and first fruits and sacrificial terms were used regularly. Romans 12 and 1 through 2 says, present your body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And he said, that is your spiritual worship. The priesthood of believers is not a special cast of ministers. But it involves every member of the body of Christ. Everybody saved is a priest, is a worshiper, and reflects the character of God. Everybody in your church should be a worshiper. Well, Pastor Kelly, what about people that come to church every Sunday and Pop up and don't worship and don't praise and like they belong to this first church of ISIS. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you a, a little story that Mr. John Kimball told me. You see people coming to church and not going worship and praising God and giving Him the glory. It's just like the fox that landed in the chicken yard. And he told the chicken, don't, "You don't have to run for me no more." We in a union, we ain't needing each other no more. And just as the fox finished, 
the dog lit into the fox like he was going to tear him to pieces. And the chicken said, I ain't coming down here. Why is that dog chasing me back there? If we're in a union and we ain't eating each other, why you want to get me down? Why is that dog chasing you like that? And the fox looked back at him. He said, that long red rascal hadn't got the news yet. <laughs> People come to church and won't worship. They hadn't got the news. Because if you don't know what God is worth to you, that's your problem. Look at somebody and say, what is he worth to you? This theme runs all the way through both Testaments, on out to Revelation. And it says in Revelation 5 and 9, and they sung a new song saying, Lord, you're worthy. What? Worthy. To take the book and to open it thereof. For you were slain and you have redeemed us to God by the blood out of every kindred and people and tongue and nation. And you have made us unto you kings and priests. Let me hit you with something that you know. First Peter 2 and 9. That we should show forth the praises of him. Who have called us what? Out of darkness. For you are a royal priesthood. A what? And you are a holy what? A holy nation. There it is. And you are peculiar. Which means that you were bought with the blood. And the Lord wants you to show forth the praises of him that have called you out of darkness. Into the, I don't care what you're thinking. I'm preaching. I know I'm preaching. God wants you to reflect his character so the world can see who he is and know who he is by the way you worship and by the way you live. Kings and priests. Revelation 1 and 5. I'm winding down. I'm winding down. And, and from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings on the earth, unto him who loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood and has made us kings and priests unto God. I don't know what else you're looking for. There it is right there. You're a king, you're a priest. Offer him sacrifices with the fruit of your lips. Glory to God. Yeah, yeah. Let me get one or two more witnesses and I'm going to my seat. Revelation 9. Revelation 9 and 10. I want you to get this real good. I don't want you to miss this. I want you to get this. And they, and they had Revelation 9 and 10. Revelation 5. I need Revelation 5, 9. Revelation 5 and 9 says, and they sung a new song and they said, Worthy the Lamb. And it goes on through verse 12 in Revelation 7 and 12. And that would be my last passage. And it said, um, Well, 11 said, All the angels stood around the throne and about the elders and the four beasts and fell before the throne on their faces. And worship God, saying, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto him forever and ever. Amen. 
one thing the scholar said, and it's so true, Dr. Thomas, it's a lot of worship in Revelation. Can I get a witness? It's a lot of worship in Revelation. Now, I have more data. St. Hill, St. Paul, do I have some more data? I got some more, don't I? Don't be deceived. Do I have it, y'all? I'm going to stop. I'm not going to do the holiness part because we ought to know about holiness. I wanna, I'm going to take my seat in this brand new building and all you pastors from throughout the state, the people that I, that I serve with. Whenever you go to church, I don't care what's going on in your life. Make sure you worship. Come on, y'all. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Kathy Gray, am I telling the truth? Whatever's going on in your life, make sure you worship. And everything going to be all right. says all the prayer. Glory. We're going to have prayer. I'm going to, I'm cutting off right there. We're going to pray. What did everybody say? A kingdom of priests and a holy nation. A kingdom of priests and a holy nation. Kingdom of priests. I'm going to worship For the word, oh God. We come to worship you today, oh God. We dare not leave this place without worshiping you. Lord, you deserve the honor, the praise, the glory, and we tell you thank you. Thank you for what you did on Calvary's cross. Thank you for dying for us. Thank you for saving us. Thank you for healing us. Thank you for strengthening us. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you back the honor. We give you back the praise, for you deserve all honor. Glory, praise, thanksgiving is all belongs to you, oh God. Hallelujah. <laughs> We've learned today that whatever we go through, if we just put worship in there, you, we're going to get through it. We're going to get through it. Whatever we're going through, let us worship you. Let us praise you. Let us honor you in everything, oh God. Give thanks, for this is the will of God through Christ Jesus. Lord, we dedicate this prayer to you and we thank you for this word. Help us to apply this word to our heart and to our life, oh God. And help us to walk up right before you and to live holy, oh God. But never, 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 oh God, let us forget that it's all in the praise that you deserve the honor, the glory, and the praise. And Lord, we thank you and we commit this prayer to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh -huh. I worship you, Lord. I worship you, Lord. You deserve all the worship. 
If I can get you to worship me and reflect my character, I'm going to place you above all the people on the face of the earth. And you're going to be a special treasure. What do you do with treasure? You protect it. Sometimes you keep it under lock and key, keep it on safety deposit box. You have special care for a treasure. And he went on to say that you're going to live in houses that you didn't build. You're going to eat from vineyards that you did not plant. And you're going to eat and you're going to get full. Because I've set my love upon you. Look at somebody and say, that's the plan. Look at somebody and say, that's the plan. I want to thank you, Bishop Preston, for bringing me to a place that I've never been. I recognize that. I've never been here. Dedicating a church for a bishop. Y'all better come on, give God some praise. Clap your hands, give God some praise. And it is an honor for me to be here. Thank you so much. God bless you. Come on and put those hands together that we enjoyed a wonderful message.